Hey guys, Peter here to do an EP review. Today I'm here to tell you about the latest from the Arson Choir, Invisible Monsters, out October 2nd on War Against Records. This EP has four tracks and is nine minutes in length. I really enjoyed this release, and after listening to Trophy Nation, it's impossible not to compare the two. I really felt that this one really moves the needle in the right direction for the band. Still heavy, still aggressive, still intense, still chaotic, but all of those elements feel a lot more controlled. The construction of the tracks is way better, the overall execution is way better, everything is better defined and overall that impacts the interest and it impacts the appreciation that the listener will have for these songs. You don't feel necessarily lost within them with all the chaos and all the movement, you feel like there is a direction and that direction is very easy to follow. Sure, there are bumps along the way, there are ups and downs along the way, but this is a release that has a lot more direction, the construction, the structure is stronger and therefore the execution was a lot better. Another element that I really enjoyed overall on this EP was the lyrics. The fact that you have four songs with four different topics, but all of them kind of tied in into the world that we're living in today, the economical, social, political, and environmental world of today. So I like that fact because it's a common thread throughout uh, even though they all touch on different things, there's a commonality between them, so it stays, everything kind of stays together, if you will. And I love the fact that it touches on topics that are near and dear to my heart. So I felt very connected to the lyrics on this record, and that made the songs even more enjoyable, and it made the songs feel even more intense and even more aggressive. Overall, this is a really magnificent EP. Four songs that fly by, nine minutes is nothing. It's one prog track. So I really enjoyed this release, I really enjoyed the, the construction, the execution, and like I said, it is chaotic, but it's a controlled chaos that really comes across in a more fluid and linear way. Now, as far as songs are concerned, let's start off with the first track, and that is The Chemical Curse. Great riff, the vocals provide movement to the track. I felt that musically, this song was more balanced all the way through, heavy, aggressive, and powerful, but vocally, you needed the dynamic changes, you needed the ups and downs, you need that roller coaster ride, and we got that from the vocals, allowing the music to stay a lot more conservative, if you will, to start to stay a lot more linear and baseline, uh, and you have that movement from the vocals creating the ups and downs. But overall, this is a really strong song. There are some breaks within the track. It's not like the track is uh, the same tempo that it starts, it goes all the way through, no. There are some breaks within it, but those breaks allowed everything that came before and everything that comes after to feel even heavier and bigger. So I love the dynamic that this song has. Next, Gore Was Right, one of my favorite tracks, if not my favorite track on this release. It is a pedal to the metal uh, kind of track from the opening. There are some pockets of calm here and there and you almost have to introduce them uh, in order to create the perfect balance for the track. In the previous song, I felt that the vocals created those up and down mechanisms in this song, I felt that musically the song moved up and down while the vocals stayed a lot more consistent from beginning to end. And that allows the track to have a different dynamic using the same elements but twisting them around, reverting the order of them, you create a different song that sounds very similar but yet different from the opening track on the record. I love how it sounds, I love how it moves forward and it's definitely a track that is pushed all the way to the limit by the guitars. Perhaps one of the best guitar sounding tracks on this release. I love how they feel, I love how they sound, how they come across, really showing you they're, they're on the driving seat and they're pushing the song and they're taking you from point A to point B. Next, Revenge My Love. Vocally, this song is relentless. A lot of intensity, a lot of aggression, and I believe that really comes from the lyrics and the lyrical content of the track, really pushes itself, uh, it, it bubbles to the surface, and then it comes across in how the vocals come out during this track. The song kicks serious ass. There's a vocal bridge that leads its way to this climatic moment that allows the song to just absolutely destroy everything around it. Very heavy, very powerful, uh, very menacing at times. Short, compact, but sweet and to the point. I love how this song is constructed. I love the delivery. I love the vocals on this track. I really love that bridge into that climax that just becomes so strong, so potent. Last but not least, Vanisher. Perhaps the slower moving song on this release. I felt that compared to the previous three, this one had a slower tempo, was more methodic, at least how it started. It didn't start guns blazing right away, it had a more methodic approach as it starts. It picks up intensity, it picks up aggression as, as it moves along, it picks up a little bit of chaos as well. It's a track that really has a Jekyll and Hyde kind of feel to it. It, it feels like it has two different faces. At one point, you, you feel like it has a lot of melancholic, you, you're in this melancholic soundscape, if you will, and the next thing you know, you're in this aggression, intensity, really driven 
driven sound and vocals that push the song to its limits. So it's a track that has these two faces and does a, a wonderful job alternating them and giving you different perspectives as it moves along, almost morphing and growing as it progresses from the beginning all the way to the end. This is it guys, the Arson Choir with Invisible Monsters once again out October 2nd on War Against Records. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles. Use the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care guys.